so I already loosened up the drain plug bolt and also the engine oil I mean engine oil I mean the oil filter engine oil filter so right now what we will do is we're gonna drain this bad boy here yeah so there's some engraving here says engine oil so this is the bolt that you're gonna unplug it's too cold sorry i apologize so your landmark is your of course this uh, 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 down pipe here so you can see and you're gonna see your uh, uh, engine oil filter location so that's your landmark two landmarks on locating this drain plug bolt so we're gonna drain this make sure it's aligned gonna squirt so bad so long this thing is so long I can't imagine that long There she goes. Oops. Now we're gonna leave it raining well. I'll do my dishes. Oh shit. <clears throat> there you have it. Later we're gonna pour some oil. So you're coming from this side. So make sure that uh, you wipe this down, make sure it's clean and your rubber o-ring is not sticking in before you put the new uh, engine oil filter. So as you can see, camera focus please, there you go, nice and clean, looks brand new. And we're gonna put back the new... Uh, we're gonna replace this one for a new uh, we're gonna place a new we're gonna place a new engine oil filter so my engine oil filter is here I use Honda brand I just go to my uh, Honda dealer here in Calgary local store actually let's move this gloves here gonna remove this as you can see brand new filter and I bought myself Uh, washer I don't think I need it because the other washer as you can see from the previous owner sticks right through there's no way I can remove this won't come off no matter how I try without the camera won't come off there's no point of using two washer so we'll leave it there is extra and we're gonna unpack this thing so don't forget to lose this uh, rubber o-ring here so in that way you won't have any leak in the future Okay, we're gonna lube it up a little bit. 
So for my oil, I use this Valvoline Zero W twenty. Got it from Walmart. It's on sale. That's why I grab it. Actually, I don't know if I can remove it with one hand. There we go. So we're gonna rub it. Rub it. Place it back. or something. Right here, quickly wipe this up. So just tighten it up, nice and snug. Don't use any torque wrench or whatsoever bullshit that you'll find on the internet. Yes, I did. Yes, quickly wipe it up. you clean this pin plug bolt you're gonna put it back it's brand new as you can 
can see it's still dripping a little bit but that's okay It's not tight. You don't have to tight it so bad. Put it down so you know that you got no leak when you put a new engine oil. Use your oil after 5,000 and some kilometers. So now we're putting oil. So yes, as you can see here, zero W twenty says in the cap. Just loosen it up. Make sure place it right here so you don't drop them. Make sure that you clean this pretty good. So you don't leave any residue or what that goes in your engine oil. Of course, I got my help from my previous uh, friend here. Uh, not previous. Yeah, previous. My friend here. I got this from a friend. I don't know where he got it from, but it's a funnel. So you don't mess it up when you put some oil. You don't mess it up when you put some oil. there until I feel this up a little bit so I don't make a mess
Also to reset your uh, uh, maintenance notification that's coming on this dash, all you need to do is uh, press this. Uh, press this menu here, menu button. If you press that, then it will show something on your uh, display screen here. So you're gonna. Press vehicle information and then maintenance information. And I did reset mine, so for you guys, all you need to do is uh, hit reset also by pressing the center one. You can select, uh, you can press positive and negative for uh, oh, here, here it is, anyway. So you're gonna press oil and air, oil and filter information. Then you're gonna press yes. Already did mine, so I won't do it. So again, you're gonna press menu, odometer, uh, vehicle information. After vehicle information, you're gonna press maintenance. You're keep pressing the source for source button for hitting OK and. the source button again and then you're gonna hit yes if you wanna reset yours that should do it set my way I know if I have 5 km 5000 k turbo of oil change thank you guys for watching uh, peace out and don't forget to hit like subscribe and share Again, that's the simple step on how to change your oil for your 2012 Honda Civic. So don't forget to hit like, share, and subscribe. Peace out. Again, that's uh, how you change your oil for your 2012 Honda Civic. So by the way, I'm using uh, Valvoline. For those of you who don't know, I'm using Valvoline.